Are you coming to Galaxy's Edge and wanting to have epic encounters like this? Well, aren't you clever? Oh. <laughs> Here are the tips and tricks you need to make that happen. Jedi we're looking for. Oh, looks like you're a little short for a stormtrooper. Well, aren't you clever? I am. Thank you. Nope. Well then. Over here. Did you know a Wookiee can pull your arms off? I... In conversation. I, 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 I... For no reason, right? Just... That is affirmative. Yeah. I... I... I picking up what you're putting down. Thank you, citizen. Have a pleasant day. As you were. You can find Ray, Chewbacca, and R2-D2 here by the Millennium Falcon, and also up here by Docking Bay 7. Jedi. You'll find Kylo Ren and the Stormtroopers here in this First Order area. Both Stormtroopers and Kylo head two different directions. They'll head up towards the cantina, or more often, past the milk stand towards the droid depot. You'll find characters like the Mandalorian, Grogu, Boba Fett, Fennec Shand, and now Ahsoka, here between the Bounty Hunter area, through this area, through the shops, this area in the shops, and here to this gate. Unfortunately, I think Disney World only has the Mandalorian and Grogu. Approach. Do you know how to balance an undermount torpedo launch? I do. You're right. Stay away from the one on my ship. I saw a bounty truck with your hollow on it. Oh, it wasn't me. Take the job, though. It's not my fault. This is your lucky day. It is my lucky day. Well, would you like to meet Grogu? I'd love to meet Grogu. Go ahead. Say hello. Hello, Grogu. Oh, good. You're back. I think oh, yeah. he likes you. Also, I like I know. him. You know, Grogu has special gifts he's learning to use. I'll bet you do, too. I was like, oh, no, I do. Okay. I do. Very good. Like, would you want to become a bounty hunter? I do want to become a bounty hunter. I'm working on my bounty as we speak. Good. You've got the instinct for it. I'll talk to the guild. That'd be pretty good. Way. This is the way. Safe journey to you. Now, it doesn't help if you don't know how to set up these encounters. Just hovering around might not do it, so here are a few tips. First off, stand in the area that they're going to be walking. As you can see, walking towards me, walking towards me. There we Mind go. Are telling us what you're doing with that data pad? I am not you spying for the resistance. Whatever you're doing, I doubt you're authorized. I, I wasn't am, aware I got authorizations. I... Because it doesn't. Sorry. No, authorized channels only, civilian. As, as you were. We've got eyes on you. I've got two on you. Good. Excellent. Goodbye, citizen. Goodbye. Thank you, citizen. So as you can see, just standing in the way and walking in their path, you want to present as if you're ready to have an interaction and an encounter. They will interact with you and your phone calling it a data pad. You want to present yourself as if you are ready to have an encounter. Inviting versus closed off. Hiding on the side like this isn't going to do it. You can ask to take a picture, but that isn't necessarily going to give you the encounter that you want. This area by the Droid Depot is also a good place to have interactions with Stormtroopers and Kylo Ren. We see you with a Hollis cam. Let's go. Always do this. Looking good. Yeah. You're welcome. Shiny. Like that. How you hold yourself, eye contact, how you present yourself towards them, all of that helps. When in doubt, say something to them. You can talk to Vibe Marathi about being a spy for the resistance. They don't take kindly to people who are too pushy or too overeager. Give them something to work with. Like, could you imagine doing improv and saying, hey, where are you from? And the person just like, uh, I don't know. Sorry to interrupt, but we'd like to know what you're doing on that data pad. I am uh, just collecting information for the First Order. Hold on. Nice try. I'm not falling for that. I Again. am not a spy for the Resistance, if that's that what you're wondering. That sound important. I'd offer you one of our restricted frequencies for emergency use only, but you're already on it. Stick to civilian channels. Civilian. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. Well, aren't you clever? As you were. As you, As you were. As you can see, putting yourself in the path yeah. does help. The cast members who are playing these characters are hired to have these interactions and encounters. So it really helps to commit to the bit, to play the part as if you are on that too. I have a degree in theater, so it's pretty easy for me, but it's not easy for all people. To help out, think what kind of backstory do you have? Are you a spy for the resistance? Are you loyal to the First Order? Are you a bounty hunter looking for bounties? Or are you a Jedi? 
This is merely to help know how to respond to these characters. When the First Order Stormtroopers or Kylo Ren are interrogating you, are you scared? Are you hiding information? What's your angle? When it comes to Mando or Boba Fett, I'm usually a bounty hunter looking for bounties. Or I'm a Jedi. I know having a backstory and committing to the bit seems a little ridiculous, but it really does help. It helps to wear identifying symbols that they can play off of, like I have got a Jedi hat and a Stay on Target shirt. You can wear symbols for the Jedi, for the Resistance and the Rebellion, for the First Order, for the Empire, for bounty hunting. Bright Suns, good to see you too. Just like that, stay in character, commit to the bit, you are on planet. When you're in the moment, it's hard to know how to respond. You don't have a script and you're not sure exactly what they're gonna say. Everybody sees these videos and comments, oh, you should have said this, but in the moment, you freeze up. Having a couple iconic lines do help, like, aren't you a little short for a stormtrooper? And more for stormtroopers, something about staying on target or missing their target. Whenever I think I've heard it all, there's always something new. Essentially, these cast members are performers and they're looking for something to play off of. So if you give them that interaction, that's where you're gonna find the epic encounters. You're unlikely to have these encounters when there's a big group. And whenever there's kids, always give them the priority. And above all, be respectful. Be respectful to the people around you and especially be respectful to the cast members. Don't touch cast members without permission and respect their personal space. Chewbacca will sometimes give high fives and hugs, but that's about it. If you want your friend to have an interaction and they're shy, you can always do this. Uh, I believe he's with the resistance. That's affirmative. We believe you've been conspiring with the resistance. Mornings aren't usually the best time for encounters because there are large crowds. But as soon as it hits mid-afternoon, as you can see, <laughs> However, as soon as early evening hits, there are no more characters. And these were all just my interactions in two hours at the park. Bright suns, good luck, and may the force be with you. Volker Mount.